absolutely critical to my role. Anything that I'm going to do that is a new or innovative program in our district, I first have lots of conversations with colleagues. Um, I've heard about it at professional development for either the state or national level. I've researched it. Um, and then I will actually have our staff go out and visit schools if, there, if there's something we're thinking about doing of administrators that I trust and can rely on. But it all goes back to relationships. And I, I am very confident I could not do this job by myself and I have to rely on the network that I've built over the past 15 years, both in the state and the national level. One common misconception is that you, you have to be able to walk on water to be a principal. Um, and I think that's interesting that people think they need to be able to know everything already before you even start the job and that's a, that's a real misconception because people really want you to be human. They want you to be that person that um, is a teammate and an encourager and someone who helps them move forward and grow. Being able to say I'm sorry and, and move forward when there's a problem I think is important. So to have a, a misconception would be that you, you have to have all the skills when you start the job or that you're expected to be superhuman. You aren't, you're just expected to be a human. Teachers, as I mentioned before, you first have the professional development so that they can see because no one likes changing, changes. Once they sit very comfortable of something they've done so many years or that they don't know, they fear the unknown. So you have to make them sure, feel that it's not a burden, it's not something out of the norm. You're just going to build on what they already learned and make it productive for all, all stakeholders. You have to empower teachers. If you don't empower them and you're the leader constantly, they're only going to listen to you. You have to see their inner strength and what they can bring to the top. From, and that actually, it's amazing because those are the same teachers um, that would do some of your professional development. And you can save some money because again, the budget is a big thing and you need to know how to be creative. First of all, it's knowing the talents of your teachers. And if we have um, teachers that are very strong in those areas that other teachers may, maybe need some additional help uh, pulling those teachers together. Also, um, on our campus, we have weekly professional development opportunities um, so that we can learn from one another. I think uh, the most talented people are the ones that are in your building. You don't necessarily have to go outside of the building to find those, those professional development opportunities. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of times they're right there in your face. So um, making sure that, that our teachers get what they need, if we have to send them outside of the building, then we'll do that. Um, but making sure that they have those strategies and making sure that we're using the data to make those, those fine-tune adjustments. Mm -hmm.